Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, I have a list of questions here that you guys asked me from my last video. I want to get every single one in, so I'm going to go fast and hopefully I can answer them all quickly. I was just kind of that kid that everyone knew but was only friends with a few different people. Um, I am bothered by spiders, but not by snakes. And I have not eaten a Pop-Tart in the shower. I would probably be like an oceanographer. Uh, I've always wanted to do that since I was a little kid. I think sea life is amazing and that would be so much fun. I would probably say Lady Gaga, um, just because I think she's doing a lot to just like Get out there and say, accept yourself, love yourself. I think she does a lot for that. If not Lady Gaga, then probably Ellen DeGeneres, just because she's been so open and honest with the world. Actually, the first video that we made for Five Swords Straight Guys, um, that me and Bobby are both in, we actually explain how we met. So if you want to know, check there. We met on Daily Booth, but it's a little longer story than just that. Girl Interrupted. Angelina Jolie is my favorite, and that's just an amazing movie. I have never left the USA, sadly. I really need to get a passport so I can sometime next year. Not answering that question. Pass. Honestly, the only bedtime, well, it wasn't even a bedtime story, but it's just what my parents read to me when I went to bed was the Bible. Um, so I don't really have a favorite bedtime story, sadly enough. My family is amazing. Um, about me being gay. They're totally okay with it. They support me 100%. Um, they always want me to bring, bring Bobby around. They, I, they're just, I could not have a more supportive, loving family. <music> failure. It has always been failure. I don't see it ever changing. I hate failure. Totally. There isn't just like a certain subject or anything. I guess I'm just kind of passionate about life. I'm really passionate about being an optimist and trying to live your best life. Life, music, movies, just really the relationships that you build, um, the experiences that you have with those people. Um, so yeah. Uh, maybe go to a time in the future when there's no war and everyone's equal. Yeah, right, if that's ever going to happen. But if it was ever to happen, I'd want to go there. I don't know if I would say change my life, but uh, the Hush sound, if you haven't heard of them, look them up. They're amazing. I was a student until last December, and I graduated with my bachelor's degree in accounting, which I hated. Um, and I now have a job, which is not accounting, a full-time job somewhere, and I absolutely love it. She's perfectly fine with me being gay. She actually likes it a lot. Um, but yeah, I'll talk about her more in a different video. My first crush was actually a girl, and she became um, my first girlfriend back in like second grade or something. And it's really funny because we're still best friends today. I think we've been best friends for like 13 years or something. So it's kind of funny. If I could live in any part of the world, it would probably be like Greece or Italy. I've never been there, but they look so beautiful and I can't imagine waking up and being there every day. I think it would just make me really, really happy. <music> Referencing peanut butter, then probably smooth. I used to like crunchy when I was a little kid, but now I like the smooth. <music> I will totally make an entire video about that. I think it's a toss-up between Pillars of the Earth and Water for Elephants, two amazing books that if you haven't read, you need to read. Um, it'd have to definitely be something by Imogen Heap, I would think. Uh, not too sure. I've changed PCs and I haven't put my new iTunes on it, so I don't have a play account. Um, but maybe like Hide and Seek or something from Imogen Heap, because she's amazing. So thank you to everyone who asked a question on my video. Um, hopefully you know a little bit more about me if you actually wanted to. Until next Monday, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.